consists of three main systems, sensory memory, short-term memory, and long-term memory. According to the modal model of memory, information passes from sensory memory to short-term memory to long-term memory. But not everything that enters gets remembered, as information can be lost at any stage in the process unless strategies are used to maintain it. Sensory memory is the storage of information from the senses that lasts a few seconds or less before passing into short-term memory. There are two main types of sensory memory, iconic memory and echoic memory. Iconic memory is a fast decaying store of visual information that lasts less than a second. Echoic memory is a fast decaying store of auditory information that lasts about three to four seconds. Paying attention to sensory memories allows people to work with that information in short-term memory, a system for storing information for more than a few seconds, but less than a minute. Sometimes the term working memory is used to refer to information in short-term storage that is actively being processed. Without rehearsal, information in short-term memory will be quickly forgotten through the natural decay of information over time. Long-term memory is the system that stores facts, experiences, and skills for periods ranging from a few minutes to a lifetime. Reviewing and rehearsing information in short-term memory can move it into long-term memory, Although not all information in long-term memory is preserved forever, it may be stored but inaccessible due to problems retrieving the information. It can also be forgotten due to interference from earlier or later learning. This leads us to an important point. It is easy to think of this as a one-way system, but information is always flowing in both directions. Think about using long-term memory to cook a favorite recipe. You're going to draw on sensory memory for auditory and visual information, like to know when your water is boiling and prepping the food in front of you. But your working memory will also draw on long-term memories to access stored facts and procedures, like how you've prepared this meal in the past and what changes you normally make to the recipe. This is a complex task that requires the coordination of multiple subsystems of storage, as well as the manipulation of information that is being processed and a central executive system to control it and manage the flow of data in and out of these subsystems. It's amazing, but it's also something that we do every minute of every day.